Hey, this is Ryan from Geek.com, and this is the Nexus 9 running Android 5.0 Lollipop. There are a lot of new things going on with this version of Android, not all of which are immediately apparent uh, when you start using it. So today we're going to take a look at how to do uh, screen pinning on Android 5.0. So uh, to turn that on, you just go into the settings and then into security, and way down here at the bottom, uh, you go into screen pinning. Uh, I, ha I already have this turned on, but... Um, you just hit that switch if it's not already on. And what that gives you then is this icon down here in the corner of all of your multitasking cards. So what you can do with that is lock the entire device to a single app. Uh, so if, for example, you want to give your phone to somebody to make a call or uh, you want somebody to be able to use your tablet to watch a video, but you, you don't want them poking around in your other apps, you don't want them, you know, on your Facebook profile or anything, or looking at your photos, you can just, uh, you can pin the screen. So uh, the way you do that is you find the app that you want to pin. So we'll just go into Netflix here, and then you hit multitasking, and the, uh, the pin icon there. So then what you get is this screen that uh, explains to you what's gonna happen. You'll only be able to access this one app. Um, and if you have a secure lock screen, like a pin or pattern lock, you have this option right here uh, to require that code to get back into the uh, the device after you're finished with pinning. So if everything looks good, you just hit start. And uh, so you can go any place in this app, uh, and it's you know it's all, all well and good, but if you try to leave, you get this toast notification that tells you you have to unpin uh, to get out of it. So uh, to unpin, you just press and hold the app switcher here, and it just goes back uh, to the lock screen. So if you were uh, opted to require the password, you just put it in, and you can go back to the home screen. So uh, this is uh, more useful if you're willing to use a secure lock screen, um, so you can actually prevent people from getting into uh, other parts of the device. Um, but if you don't want to do that, you can still use it as just a, a kid's lock to prevent them from like getting into other apps accidentally. Um, but that is how you use screen pinning on Android 5.0. Thanks.